turned out hotter than forecasts, sparking worries about a shift away from pro-growth policy to inflation fighting. To what extent does the inflation reading limit further monetary loosening? Uh, uh, indeed, uh, if you look at the inflation uh, trend, uh, it has been progressing at a fast pace. Uh, we expect that uh, China's inflation will reach a peak uh, by second half of this year. And uh, especially uh, given uh, economic growth, we become stronger. And uh, this year, inflation could be a major risk for China. In terms of monetary policy, uh, we think that the PBOC would have, uh, could have uh, relaxed monetary policy earlier or at least normalize its monetary policy uh, in third or fourth quarter by cutting reserve requirement ratio. At this stage, the reverse repo has become very large and excessive. It has become very disruptive to short-term interest rate. Uh, it is hoped that uh, uh, with more capital inflow, and uh, the PBOC will no longer uh, use uh, a lot of reverse repo, and uh, that could be an opportunity for PBOC to nominalize its monetary policy again. You said growth is no longer an issue and inflation will be a risk. The Q4 GDP figures come out on Friday. What is that going to signal in terms of 2013 growth in China? We forecast that uh, China's growth for fourth quarter will be at around 8% uh, for the year as a whole, perhaps 7.8% uh, growth can be reached. This is still above 7.5% target set at uh, uh, March last year. Uh, going forward, uh, we think that uh, growth momentum will continue to pick up, especially uh, the government has uh, reaffirmed urbanization will be a major driver for China's economic growth. So this also implies that uh, going forward, uh, uh, many local government uh, will boost their investment and uh, uh, growth uh, perhaps uh, after the second half could, could surge. Uh, with the surging economic growth, uh, especially led by investment, uh, that will drive up commodity prices again. Uh, as China is the end user of many hard and soft commodities, China will uh, import uh, uh, inflation. And together with uh, upward uh, trend of growth, uh, inflation could be a high risk.